In the spring of 2007, the Africa Channel was invited by Vanity Fair magazine and guest editor Bono to take part in their historic Africa edition. I think this will be a, a photographic sort of milestone. A sure collector's item. This is the first monthly magazine ever to do 20 separate covers. 20 different covers. So you have George Clooney on the cover and President Bush. You have Maya Angelou and Madonna, Warren Buffett and Iman. You know, Alicia Keys, they have just one thing in common, and that is they're passionate about Africa. And for our Africa Channel photo spread inside, we brought in our A-team from all over the continent. It's one of the most highly read, most, one of the most highly aspired magazines in the world, so that's fantastic. And as a woman, well, you know, everybody wants to be a princess. <laughs> <laughs> we were all proud Africans under one roof, from Zimbabwe. Kenya, Uganda, South Africa, and Nigeria. Some of us meeting for the very first time. Nice to meet you. This was an opportunity not to be missed. Look at the smile on his face. Exact that was my response. It was a pretty wild ride. Even the Vanity Fair team who'd been photographing groups on location for many years didn't quite know what to make of us. They were just absolutely fantastic. Never gonna be the same again. <laughs> Our cameras captured for you much of what happened on location with your favorite Africa Channel stars for this behind the scenes look at Vanity Fair's special Africa edition. It's impossible living in the same house as her. You'll just have to sort out your differences. Do you think I haven't tried? 
She is downright hostile towards me. She hates me and makes no secret of it. Yeah, no more kids. If you don't believe me, why don't you ask her? In fact, why don't you do just that? Let's have it out, here and now. We look upon our client. How convenient. We are all adults. We'll have to find a way to compromise. She doesn't want to compromise, damn it. You saw what she was like this morning. The minute she isn't the center of attraction, she starts sulking. She feels sidelined. Uh, so this is all about her. What about me? You haven't exactly gone out of your way to make me feel welcome. The one thing I won't compromise on to make you happy is my relationship with Karab. Mm -hmm. I didn't think so. For Ditsero's sake, we'll just have to get along as well as possible. Get real, Dao. You couldn't have created a more dysfunctional setup even if you tried. Just think about it. What man in their right mind would set up a home with his current and ex-girlfriend, the ex being the mother of his child? It's not an ideal situation, It's but insane! It's insane! And that he grows up knowing his father loves him. You know how much a family means to me. You're such a bloody hypocrite. If family really meant that much to you, you wouldn't have told people your mother's dead. You leave her out of this. She has nothing to do with any of it. She's your flesh and blood, damn it. And so is Anela, but you haven't done anything to acknowledge either of them. But now you do, and it's high time you did something about it. That poor girl's desperate to find her relatives. She'll do anything to know that she has a brother. And if you don't tell her, I will. You stay out of this cell. You were not a couple of leasing need. And that's the way it's going to stay. Another secret you're keeping from Karabo. Why is it you could have Your mother abandoned you. What did Zanella ever do to you? I want nothing to do with those people. Period. Karabo tolerates your son because you pretend that family is important to you. I wonder how impressed you'll be to know how you pick and choose which people you'll tolerate in your life. As if Jack Mabasu is not bad enough. Do you know anything about Sibu Sisudlomi? Just that he's a mover and a shaker. Well, the question is, what the hell does he want with shares in my agency? And I could kick myself for not phoning Vivian sooner. Not that I expected her to sell to a complete stranger. She knows how important ISIS is to me. But this time around, I want to know exactly who I'm dealing with. You have contacts. Maybe you can ask around and get some inside info on the guy. Uh, look, I'd rather not get involved. It's not often I ask you a favor. I need to be one up on this guy. I don't need another unknown factor to contend with in my agency. Look, I don't give a damn about your agency. It's just a stupid business, for God's sake. I'm sorry. Are you okay, baby bear? Hey, what's wrong? It's... Tell me. Come on. Can't be that bad. The doctors think he has angel man syndrome. Oh, what's that? It's a genetic abnormality. My baby is physically and mentally handicapped, Kaya. Told me the minute you found out, Tejo. I had to come to terms with it. Figure out where to from here. Oh, uh, Manta sent you this. He says it's a bit technical, but it'll give you a better idea of this angelman's. I've already served the internet for what it's worth. There's a lot of info, but most of it is so impersonal. The more you know, the better. Shouldn't you talk to an expert? The thing is, the syndrome is so rare, it's often misdiagnosed. Dr. Nike only knows of one other case in Joburg. A little girl. And? Shouldn't you be talking to her parents? I've already been to see her mother. We were sitting in the garden talking when suddenly her daughter, Kerry, a blonde, blue-eyed, precious little thing, came tottering towards us with her arms flapping in the air. She looked like a little bird trying to fly. At first I thought she was playing, but apparently many angelmen's children raise their arms when they run. 
She was laughing, Matty. She looked so happy. But when she came closer and I looked into her eyes... You... You don't have to talk about this if it's too painful, Tejo. Some people call Angel Man's the happy puppet syndrome. Are they always happy? No. When Carrie's mom asked her if she wanted some juice, she lashed out and started punching and pinching her. Why? Because she battles to tell people what she wants. She gets so frustrated when she can't communicate, and lashing out is the only form of expressing that frustration. Shame, man. And, and the poor mother? How does she deal with it? You should see the bruises on her arms, Matty. But strangely enough, she seems used to it. I don't know if I'm up to this, Matty. I don't know if I'm strong enough. I can't imagine never having a proper conversation with my boy. Never being able to know what he's thinking, what he's feeling. Maybe you should focus on the positive. I wish you could tell me what that is, because right now I can't find one single thing. Listen, listen. Isn't it that he, that he can play around and run? Is, isn't that something to be thankful for? Hmm? He will always be a child, Matty. A disabled child. He will be dependent on me for the rest of his life. <laughs> That's a responsibility. I can't seem to grow. Shush, <laughs> my <laughs> He wants to see the guest list. Go and get these boys some more beer. Yes, eh? boy, you like beer. Thank you. Come with me, please. Sir, that was two weeks ago. Shh. That's crazy. She was your husband's mistress. What are you doing being an administering angel? I know, I got myself into a stupid situation. If I remember correctly, we had her fired, didn't we? Mm. My idea, I wanted her out because of Sipo. Though I can't really blame her. I mean, we both know what Sipo's like. Yeah. Well, don't get involved. I want your 100% focus on this bitch. Don't worry, I have no intention of seeing her again. And don't forget the client's doing this AIDS benefit thing tonight. Don't be late. <laughs> I won't. Uh, yeah. Look at this one. Look at this one. Heartbreaking, isn't it? Yes. It's terrible. You bought any? Of course. How could I not? And I'm really looking forward to hearing your pitch for our new car campaign. It's not easy to find people with heart in this business. I just wish I could do more. Oh. Come to think of it, we're always looking for volunteers at uh, the sanctuary home we sponsor. It sounds wonderful, but I really don't have the time. Well, think about it. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go and mingle. Okay. All right. See you later. Here right. we go. Thank you. You charmed him. If I'm not careful, I'll be emptying bedpans soon. Oh, that's way beyond the call of duty. I mean, why do it yourself when you can pay someone else who can do it better? Exactly. It's amazing how a little money can go a long way to making problems disappear. Ah, which reminds me. I better buy one of these miserable pictures. I can put it up in the boardroom.
Keanu. Take a little charity case here. I thought you might need it. Yes, I need some go You have children, remember? And you're not going to get anything out of Sipo. Get a hug, get a hug. Stop this little charade of yours. Sipo's not going to do anything for you. You know very well that Sipo isn't Siamo's father. He's infertile. That's why we couldn't have any children. Mom. Siamo. Siamo. Tell my uncle. Tell my Emma. Tell my Emma. Tell my The driving force behind nature. This is the conventional approach to selling environmentally friendly cars. There are a million campaigns like that. We loved your idea of a compassionate car. The make of this car has been renowned for its safety features. But the challenge was to combine it with an environmentally friendly profile. The more we thought about it, the more we realized the two aren't separate. In fact, they are one. So we came up with give them more than a safe drive, give them a future. This concept clearly, excuse me, this concept clearly sends a message, this concept clearly sends a message that this make of car is for people who care. It's brilliant. We're not just selling a car, we're selling the whole idea of compassion. I thought I could sell the idea of compassion. But the more I think about it, <laughs> the more I think it's stupid. You can't buy or sell compassion. I think what Rafil was no. trying to say. I need to be somewhere else. Excuse me. The streets of Ouagadougou are covered in a haze of dust, giving it the feel of an old sepia photograph. But the busy city is modern and cosmopolitan, and there's lots to see and do. Burkina Faso is known as the land of the upright or honest people, and its dusty capital, Ouagadougou, bears testament to the warmth and hospitality you will receive here. The monument behind me, placed in Abakum, welcomes any visitor to the city with a traditional offering of water in a calabash. So, how are you feeling? Wow, Rosie, I'm feeling exhilarated. It's good to be outside. It's good to be seeing new people. <laughs> but um, yes, I mean, happy, sad moments, obviously, but it's bittersweet, you know. It's, it's come to an end. Yeah. And there's a time you think it will never come to an end. But otherwise, on the whole, I think I'm still sort of floating right now. <laughs> now, a lot of your housemates saw you as bossy and two-faced. What's your take on that? Well, I've got a strong character. Um, that is something that I openly said and maybe perceived as being bossy. The two-facedness, I don't know. I think everyone sort of, on entering the house, you need to find where you belong, with who you belong with, you know. And so sometimes you can change from one group to another. You know, I think it's human nature. I wouldn't call it being two-faced. I think we're all trying to find our footing in the Big Brother house. So the birds that we saw on screen, is it the same person that we're seeing here, or are they two different people? I think all aspects, in terms of the different birthers you saw, are part of who I am. You know, um, some maybe more than other aspects, but I was playing the game, yes, but I was also me. Hello, Africa. And welcome to Studio 53 once again. Our first story is a search for a successful African exhilarating adventure, the kind that involves snow. We found it in the mountain kingdom Lesotho in the land of the Basotho. 
This week, we were invited by the Botswana Tourism to share with you the magic of a Southern Hemispheric secret. Thank you very much. Hello Africa and welcome to Haberoni. We're here in the southern African country to meet and greet the people of Botswana and show off their beautiful sights and sounds to you. And whilst we're here, we've been hosted at the wonderful Grand Palm Hotel Casino. Hi, I'm Rosie Mudene. You may remember me as Tejo in Generations. Did you know that by paying your taxes honestly and on time, you're making South Africa a better place for generations to come? SARS, helping you make South Africa great. Dee-dee! 